Hello, thanks for tuning my channel. This is your girl Sarah and I'm so excited to this message. It is titled, This is not gonna be my marriage. So stay tuned and see you soon. I'm outside here, it's such a beautiful day, it's such a beautiful weather here and I hope the wind won't be a little bit noisy and I hope you can feel it. So yeah, let's get right into the message. This is not going to be my marriage. You're probably wondering why I titled that video such a such a very profound and very strong title. Well, I'm saying that be because way back then, a couple of years back, I was in that place. I was in a place where I did not like what I saw. I was not happy with the way my marriage was. And I knew that God ordained marriage to be beautiful and to be enjoyed and to be amazing. But it was not going that way. And one day, I just decided and I felt, you know what? This is not going to be my marriage. And that is why, um, excuse my dog. <laughs> she's, uh, she's still getting around the, the whole video thing. And that is why I want to give you six steps, six profound steps that can back up that statement that this is not going to be my marriage. And the first step is, number one, just decide. Make up your mind. Decide right now. And look in your marriage and say, you know what? I'm not liking how the things are going. I don't like A, B, C, D. And decide that this is not the way things are going to go. This is not going to be my marriage. All right? And then we're going to go the second step. The second step, I want you to take your time on this one. Ask the Holy Spirit to show you what to say. Because in this step, you're going to take a pen and paper and make a list. Make a list of everything that you do not like in your marriage those things that are disturbing your peace those things that are disturbing your joy make a list now from the smallest things to the biggest for example that uh, lack of communication in your marriage that coldness that lack of affection or that financial issue whatever is that you are disturbed about put it on paper all right and then the third step the third step is pray it away all right so this is very very um very very important that you have to pray things away because in his book uh the bible let's just quickly go there so um, matthew matthew eleven twenty eight. just give me a minute matthew eleven twenty eight. the lord is giving us this amazing invitation he's saying come to me all who are weary and burdened and i will give you rest Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in your in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. So take this amazing scripture that the Lord gave us and apply it as you are praying these things away. Look at all those things that are on your list and speak to those things and say, you will not have my joy, you will not have my peace, and you'll definitely not have my marriage. So, and speak it in scripture as well. Use this scripture and apply it to your situation. And after you've made that prayer, after you're done with that prayer, now we go to the fourth step. The fourth step is make another list. Now this list is much more exciting and it's interesting because here you're going to write down the desires of your heart. Those things that you, you know will make you happy if you see it in your marriage. That new house that you've been trusting God for. That new car or that financial issue that you want the Lord to help you with. That affection back in your, in your marriage. That warmth back in your home. Call those things. So make another list and write it down. No matter how simple you think it may be or how big you think. Nothing is impossible to God. Make that list once again. And... Um, Lisa, I like what um, some people do. They take a, a vision board and they can put images on that vision board and what they imagine those things come to reality. So do the same thing. Make a marital vision board. What is that you want to see in your marriage? Make images, take, cut them out and put them on your vision board and pray for those things to come into existence. Now, our fifth step is pray that list in existence. That's actually our fifth step. Now, Call those things by name. Decree and declare right now. Call it by name and speak that those things must materialize in your marriage. All right? So I like also what Psalms uh, 37 verse 4 that says that he will give you the desires of your heart. 
uh, we can quickly go to that scripture. 37 verse 4. It says, take delight in the Lord and he will give you the desires of your heart. So there's nothing that the Lord will not want to give you. Anything that you, your heart wants, put that on paper and see it materialize. So go back in the prayer room and call those things that be not as though they were. Now on the sixth step, this is my favorite step, is to be still and know He is God. Be so sure and confident that He got you, that He's in control, that He will give you the desires of your heart. And this is now where you have to be very, very careful because you have to team up with the Holy Spirit. Going forward every single day, be in partnership with the Holy Spirit and listen for His instructions and obey what He's telling you. So if you are going through that financial issue and the Holy Spirit is telling you to, to maybe sow a seed, then you have to obey that instruction so that you can see your marriage be transformed. And um, this is also a fight for your marriage. Now, fighting entails a lot of things. It entails prayer, fasting, sowing seed, worship and praise. It also entails the way you talk, the way you think. What are the, way, the thoughts on your marriage? How do you talk about your marriage? That's another way you fight. Another way you can fight is also your association. Who do you associate yourself with? Repentance. Maybe you also need to repent. Maybe you're entertaining some kind of sin in your life that you need to repent of. Forgiveness. Who are you still holding grudges for? So give your heart to the Lord and you will see the Lord come through in your marriage. So um, that is why you need the Holy Spirit to come and help you. He is our helper at the end of the day anyway. So I want to encourage you right now. If you want to see your marriage materialize, make a decision today that this is not going to be my marriage. So once again, the six steps. First, you decide. Second, you make a list of the things you don't like. And third, you pray those things away. Fourth, you make another list of the things you like. And then fifth, you pray those things in existence. And then sixth, you be still and know that He is God. You team up with the Holy Spirit and you see God transform your marriage. He has done it for me and He has done it for other people. He will give you a new love story. He will give you a whole new testimony. And I just want to thank you so much for listening until the end. So um, I'm excited for testimonies and for new, you know, new marriages that are being transformed. So thank you once again. Please subscribe, share, like, and comment on this video. Until next time, goodbye.